Hey Watch fam, it's Phil here at the Loom Room. Thanks for checking in. Um, today I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing a very quick uh, unboxing video today. I just wanted to get this video out the way just to give you a look at the the dial on this watch. Um, I'm going to be doing. Don't worry, I will do a full. Uh, longer length unboxing and full review of this watch. This is probably just going to be a couple of minutes um, looking at the re the real reason I'm, I wanted to get this out of the way is just to show you the dial. Um, it's an absolutely stunning watch. Um, before I do the, the the reveal of it, a quick wristwatch check today. I am wearing the Rolex Air King one one six nine double zero. Absolutely adore this watch. It's been a while since it's been on. So really enjoying having that back on the wrist. Um, but the without further ado, let's get this open. You do get the white, I think it's pretty standard, the um, white outer box. And again, like I said, I will do another video and I'll show you everything that's involved in that. Um, comes in this box, this is inside that white box. And you get this um, line of blue around this. I think this is for the Save the Ocean uh, Seikos only. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments below if that's not the case. Uh, but let's just get this opened. Protective cover there. Prospect Save the Ocean. But there she is. Wow. Look at that dial. That is just something else. Like I said, I wanted to I will be doing a full a full video and review and unboxing and all that other good stuff and, it, and it, it, the videos take a little bit of time so I thought I would just get this out. I did actually so I posted a photo on Instagram and it was a loom shot of this watch. I think it was last week. Uh, do come by the way come and check me out on Instagram. Um, it's just going to be exactly the same. It'll be the loom room and you should you should find us there. I think it's loom underscore room. Um, and I posted a, a still shot of this. It was a loom shot. Uh, just to tell everybody that we had the watch in. And we were going to be reviewing it. Um, but I wanted to get a video. I did get a couple of questions about when's a video going up. Um, it might take a little bit of time. So I thought we'd just do this couple of minutes of, you know, showing you the dial which is just unbelievable. Uh, this isn't the, the the first time, I don't know how many of the iterations of the the, the Save the Ocean that Seiko has actually done. Uh, this is my second experience with them. I did get, was it last year, they done the Save the Ocean, uh, the one with the, I think people called it the Great White. Um, it did have the waves on the dial. I actually got the Seiko Samurai version of that. Um, and that is still one of my favourite, not only favourite Seiko dials, but one of my favourite Seiko, uh, my favourite dials of all time. It's got the little secret shark in there, uh, the dorsal fin of the shark. It's got the little, the second hand has a little um, shark tail on it. It's just phenomenal. But this one here, when I seen this, um, I've seen pictures of this go online. Uh, it was probably a few months ago now. And, you know, <laughs> as soon as I've seen the pictures with those manta rays, I don't know how good the, the camera's actually picking that up, but you've got with this, the, the version here, the turtle version, the king turtle version, should I say, you've got those four little manta rays swimming in the depths of the ocean there and this the dial on this again I'll try and get that as close as I can to the camera without knocking the camera over of course you see that pattern on the dial I'm not sure what you would call that but it's just absolutely gorgeous and like I said it's such a unique piece having those manta rays this is a special edition um, I think all the save the ocean ones are but this is just breathtaking. I mean, the camera's probably not doing it much justice, but in person, it's even better looking. Um, so yeah, like I said, I wanted to get this out. Uh, yeah, I will do. I will do a um, a full unboxing, a longer length uh, video for you guys, just so that you can see it. You you know, do better 
uh, close-ups and outdoor shots and everything like that but um, I did get a few questions when are you putting the video up so I thought I would do this little couple of minutes just so that you get a, a taste of, of what's to come um, let's give it a sequel shuffle and get this thing moving There she goes. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. The bracelet on this, the bracelet suits it. Um, you've got that the, the the end link there, pretty pretty flat to the case, not much of a curve to it. Um, and this is actually the first time I've ever I have owned countless Seikos. Um, I actually owned a, a baby turtle in the past, um, which was really really cool. Maybe a little bit too small for my liking. I like my watches to be that little bit bigger. But this is so. This is a forty-two millimeter, and yeah, it's quite a quite a large case to be, to be honest. But I absolutely adore it. I love the size. I love the dimensions. I love the, the curve of the body of that case. Um, you've got drilled lugs there. Um, yeah, just absolutely stunning. And Seiko again. I'm, I don't want this video to be too long, but. Yeah, again, just to give you a couple of the specs, uh, it's a 42mm case, it's a 200m uh, dive watch, and this is a special edition, save the ocean, uh, we can take a look at the little swing tags here, so there's your official uh, Seiko reference, you can see there it tells you the calibre, 4R36, so you will get hacking hand winding, uh, and then the reference there, SRPE39K1, um, but yeah, this is just gorgeous. I think the, the bracelet, I mean, the bracelet definitely suits this. I've not tested it out. I've not taken the wrappers off, as you can see. Uh, certainly looks good. It's probably going to be just stamped metal, the clasp. Uh, the bracelet feels quite solid. Um, but I'll maybe change that out for the next video. I'll maybe get a, a selection of bracelets um, and straps so that you guys can see what, you know, how, how this looks on. Maybe rubber straps. I might even be... A little bit dangerous and try it on leather um, and I'll maybe try another few bracelets as well uh, and, and and for this they've they've upgraded the certainly you know the the sequel bezels are good but this if you look at the the knurling on that bezel it's like a grenade grip style bezel and again it just feels fantastic in the fingers um, so what other upgrades are we seeing here from Seiko? Well, this is sapphire glass. Yeah, can you believe it? This isn't Grand Seiko. Uh, this isn't, you know, a couple of thousand bucks. This is, um, yeah, this is just your standard Seiko. Okay, this is a special edition. Um, and these retail in the UK for between 500 and 550 pounds. Uh, but this is sapphire glass. And that is... Believe it or not, that is a ceramic bezel. Yes, you heard me correctly. Standard Seiko ceramic bezel. Uh, it's engraved as well with those uh, dive markings. And just the way this has been executed is absolutely gorgeous. Something a little bit different as well. You'll notice the... Uh, so you've got the day and the date. And that is covered... <coughs> excuse me. The sapphire glass has on top of it, and this, okay, this won't be to everybody's taste, uh, but that has a candy bar style elongated uh, cyclops there, or bait magnifier. And I think, again, this is going to split the room. I love it. I really like it. Um, it's probably, again, it's not for everybody's taste, but this is a special edition, uh, so you are getting these little extras. Uh, the crown there, crown, crown's unsigned, um, but yeah, it's sort of, you can see the body, it just goes into the, the body, the, almost the, the, the body of the case is, it acts as the crown guards for that. Just a stunning piece. Absolutely gorgeous. See those little manta rays swimming about at the bottom, gliding through the dial. It's so well executed. And another thing I'll try and do, I'll try and get you guys a loom shot as well. Uh, I know you guys want to see that sort of stuff. Um, there's the other tag there. Seiko Prospects, Save the Ocean. 
just a gorgeous piece. I'll try I'll try uh, throw some dimensions up on the screen for you. Two um, handset you can see there, classic Seiko, almost reminiscent of the SKX style hands. Uh, you've got that hilted sword at the twelve. I dare say I've, I dare say the the loom on this. I have actually seen the loom. I put a, like I said, I put a picture up on Instagram, so please come check that out, and you'll get a taste for the loom. It's it's Seiko Loomer Bright, so uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a, a torch. You don't have to worry about that. But oh, just a beautiful piece. Like I said, they do do a uh, there's a, a samurai version of this as well. Uh, and co again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Samurai version might only have three Manta Rays on it. Could be totally wrong there. I don't think the Samurai has a, a day. It does have the date, but it might only have... It, I don't think it has the day. But yeah, I've started waffling now, so I'm going to put this off. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video so that you guys could actually see this thing. That dial in all its glory. Oh, just stunning piece. Um, let me know what... What everybody thinks in the comments below please uh, i'd love to hear what you think of this one i absolutely adore it can't wait to get the wrappers off get some maybe get a couple of straps on there as well um and yeah i will get a couple of more pictures up on instagram so come check me out there i just want to say thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and have a great weekend that's been the Seiko Turtle Save the Ocean with Manta Rays. I've been Phil at the, the Loom Room. Thanks for checking in. Mm -hmm.